Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. Uh, this is the second in our Elements series. This is uh, things you can use on your displays, HUDs, HUDs, whatever you like to call them. Uh, these are very simple uh, projects that you can combine together to make interesting visual displays. This is one that I saw done on an After Effects tutorial by somebody. It took quite a while to set up. They were using expressions and so on. I thought this is a, a pretty pointless thing to use expressions on. This is a lot easier to do and a lot simpler. Um, um, and luckily enough, we haven't got expressions anyway in HitFilm 2 Ultimate, so uh, we'll deal without them. Um, first thing you want to do is create a new composite shot. Uh, we'll call this shot container, uh, which I've actually spelt right for a change. And then we're going to create another new composite shot as well. And we're going to call this uh, rotator. I spoke too soon, so too soon. Obviously, my uh, spelling's completely gone again. Uh, rotator container. Uh, inside the rotator container, we're going to create a new plane. Uh, we'll call this rotator. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to scale down the size like so. Then we're going to unlink the sizes here. Bring this down to the bottom of the screen, like so, and then we're going to create a keyframe on the scale. And then we're going to move along, and we're going to bump this to 100, move along, and we're just going to use random numbers from here on in, here on in, for a little while. We'll bring this up to 75, back down to 5 up to 65 back down to 10 up to 100 notice I'm doing this uh, very randomly it's uh, the whole point here is to do this fairly randomly and get your timings all slightly different as well you can change them afterwards if you want to it's not a, a, a big issue by any means uh, we'll bang that to 35. We'll bring this down to 20. And then we'll go to 100 again, like so. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think we'll actually move some of these out a little bit just to give us some variance on timings like so so we've just got a bit more randomness in the actual animation itself then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select all of these we're going to copy them and bring the playhead over and paste them now all you need to remember when you're doing this is that the first frame is small so the last frame needs to be big so that when you actually go from your paste it's moving again so we'll go to here this time we'll we'll bring it a bit more of a gap and we'll paste again do the same again and just basically fill your timeline with repeats paste here now what we want to do is we want to go we're going to shrink a little bit here just so we can get rid of that point there and we're going to make sure that this point we're going to bring this over to here make sure that, that point is big so that it'll it'll loop nicely if we need if we need more than a 30 second loop uh, so we play that through now that should play quite nicely yep yeah, that's near enough perfect uh, we're going to create a new grade and we're going to rename this grade to uh, Circulizer. First thing that comes in my head, get used to it. I'm going to go down to warp and we're just going to pop a polar warp on that. And now we have a circle. Uh, what we need to do is go to our polar warp settings, bring our end radius out, bring our start radius out so we're full frame. 
And like I say, it was very, very easy to do. Very easy to do indeed. Um, the thing that finishes these these rotators off, um, and it's very easy thing to do again, is you just pull your rotator container into your shot container like so. Then we're going to pull down a transform. We're going to create a rotation zero here. We're going to go to the end of our 30 seconds, and we're going to put 15 frames of uh, 15 rotations on our keyframe. Uh, so now when you play it back, we'll just get rid of the uh, outside frame there so you can see it a bit better. You get this nice rotating effect. It has kind of a, a, an elastic feel to it um, and works really well as it goes. Uh, one of the first things you can do that, that just uh, is very easy to do is just to duplicate it like so, then transform and scale it down. So you've got another one inside, which when you first look at it, you think, well, that's a bit too basic for me. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to temporal and we're just going to drop a time reverse onto it. And now because we've dropped the time reverse onto it, what we've got is a very clever HUD display kind of rotator, which is uh, perfect for most displays. You can change the colors to anything you want, obviously, because it's just actually a plane. And I've seen people doing this with masks and it took quite a while. And like I said, I've seen them doing it with expressions. And again, the expression was quite quick, I must admit, um, but we haven't got expressions. Um, so with the polar warp, you're good to go. If you're seeing the jaggies here a little bit, I think that's possibly because it shrunk down from 1920. If, if it is jaggy on your final image, probably going to put a, a diffuse um, blur on it anyway if you're using it on a display so um, that's probably going to disappear when you when you pop a bit of diffuse onto it so you're going to have it looking like it's glowing anyway so it's going to be uh, it's not going to be a problem and it's going to be shrunk quite a bit I expect as well um, when you preview it, it's actually running a lot faster than that. And very smooth. Again, quite a nice effect. Very simple to set up and do in uh, HitFilm 2 Ultimate. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you on the next one.